Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be talking about the possibility of Obsidian creating the next Fallout title. Now, first of all, I want to say guys, if you don't know who Obsidian are, they are a game studio, game developing studio, who created Fallout New Vegas, one of the most popular games in the Fallout universe. So, you know, a lot of people are excited for them to get their hands back onto the Fallout franchise and create their next masterpiece, as it would say. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be talking a little bit about that. And yeah, also, I want to say that most of this information from this video will be taken from an awesome guy over at Reddit called Feed Me Smegma. Now, he has actually compiled a lot of evidence and information into one place so that I actually didn't have to go rooting for it on websites and looking back. He actually did it for me. So, you know what? Thank you very much, dude, because that is a nice change. Normally, I have to scout everywhere just to find stuff. So, yeah, again, thank you very much if you just happen to be watching this video. Okay, so first of all, we will be talking about the New Orleans trademark. Now, the next... Fallout game is rumored to be in New Orleans. Now, I don't know how you actually pronounce that. New Orleans? New Orleans. Number one, New Orleans. Number two, New Orleans. Which one is it, guys? Number one or two? I would actually like to know. Uh, but yeah, let's get back on subject. There was a trademark in which a logo appeared on a site which had been trademarked, and it said Fallout New Orleans. And it was very similar to the Fallout New Vegas style uh, kind of uh, icon, I guess. And, uh, you know, this sparked a lot of uh, a lot of happy kind of speculation, you know, especially me. I was very happy. I was very positive towards that being real. Now, again, just because something is put on a trademarking site does not mean it's real whatsoever. You know, anyone can possibly do it. I don't really know how you would go about doing it, but, you know, anyone can do it. But, yeah, it seemingly got debunked as not true. But let us go on a little bit more about Obsidian. One last time, I would like to remind you that this is all from Reddit. So, yeah, on August 12th, the Quest Gaming Network released their 52nd episode of the Fallout of the Record podcast, in which this episode actually featured Obsidian Design Director and Lead Designer. And, uh, yeah, that was from Fallout New Vegas. So, yeah, the person we are talking about here is Joss Sawyer. Now, at 32 minutes... Into that podcast, Josh is asked, what are you currently working on? And he kind of hesitates, and he mentions a Project Louisiana, or Louisiana. And um, then at 32 minutes, uh, 20, he actually states that he's been working on Fall, and then he stops before he mentions any more. He actually does a little bit of a laugh, and then he stumbles in his words a bit, and then he goes on to mentioning that he's wrapping up a couple of other projects, such as Pillars of Eternity, uh, the White March DLC, and, uh, yeah, Armored Warfare. Now, again, let's just look back at that. Now, what thing really stands out to me about this is the Project Louisiana. Project Louisiana. Now, when we look back at the leaks for Fallout 4, we actually know that there was Project in the name. It was Project Boston. Now again, not all companies or studios will use this term for, you know, a secret code name. They won't all use a secret code name. The fact that they're using that secret code name, Project Louisiana, that kind of, I don't know, that really makes me excited to be honest. That really does. Now again, he does stumble. He says fall and then he just stops and then he realizes what he said and then he goes on and changes the subject. That's is just insane. Now, I don't know. Take what you will from that, but it kind of looks like he's really went to say Fallout. He stumbled a bit, but he also did mention the Project Louisiana, you know what I mean? So yeah, but this post actually does go on to say uh, a little bit about this Project Louisiana, and that's what we will be talking about now. So, Project Louisiana. 
So, not many of you may know this, as, you know, some of you may be outside of the US, but Louisiana is a state, and New Orleans is in that state. So, you know, it kind of works out. Now, this is not the first time that, you know, Louisiana has been brought up by Josh Sawyer. Actually, I remember doing the video about New Orleans, the whole trademark thing, and I put this little image in to my video and it was actually Josh Sawyer on his Instagram account he posted an image uh, which had field notes of Louisiana it actually had him researching in these books about the state of Louisiana and in the little caption of that he said um, you know now is the time and time being spelt with t-y-m-e and that is actually quite a coincidence because in New Vegas there was a perk called Old Time Brawler. So I don't know whether that was just a little bit of a nod or to get people all excited and shit, but yeah, no matter what, he did actually post in the past about Louisiana. Now, whilst we're on to this whole Louisiana thing, before we move on to the New Orleans thing, right? Louisiana, think about this. How many games are really located in cities in which, you know, the game developers have to go and research about them very much in depth? Now, let's see. Spider-Man. You know, Spider-Man, they, they need to know the ins and depths of every street of that game to make it as much as like New York as they can. And to be honest... That's the only game that comes to mind when I'm thinking of games that are actually located in real life locations other than Fallout, you know? Because Fallout is very much like the real world, you know? They model it very, very closely like the real world. I know GTA also does the same thing, but again, not many other games do that. So yeah, that's just one thing to think about when you're thinking about this, I guess. So, let's move on to New Orleans. This actually isn't the first time that New Orleans has been brought up, especially not by Josh. He has actually been saying for the last couple of years in interviews that, you know, New Orleans would be a very interesting location to explore within the Fallout universe. And, you know, uh, so Louisiana and New Orleans, you know, it's, it's very fitting. It really is. It is very, very fitting. So once again, this Reddit user has went and done a lot of digging around and actually compiled some very interesting information and found out that these people at Obsidian very much like to put Project in front of their game's secret code name. So let's see, for example, they had a game called Pillars of Eternity, known as Project X, and then later on, they changed it to Project Eternity. Then a little bit later, they had a South Park game called South Park The Stick of Truth, in which that code name was just called simply Code Name. So, yeah, it does seem that they do like to favor this whole project thing or you know some kind of code name for their games. But again, looking at the similarities here, when Fallout 4 was leaked back in 2014 or 12, I think I cannot remember off the top of my head, it actually had Project Boston. Now. Project him Louisiana, you know what I mean? It's just too coincidental for my liking. I've got to be honest when I feel like something is, is Right and something is gonna happen. I just kind of know and I feel it right now guys I really do now Let's move on from that and talk about you know fallout game You know when is the next fallout game going to be here? You know what I mean? So let's see fallout 3 was released sometime around about October 2008 I don't really know now, you know, the next big game from Bethesda was going to be Skyrim, which was 2011. That is a huge gap. Now, of course, they hired Obsidian to come in and fill in the gap and make another game, and that was Fallout New Vegas. And, you know, if they are working on the next, you know, Elder Scrolls series game, which will possibly be here around about three years from now, then, you know, the possibility is that... Yeah, they could be filling in yet another gap in that timeline. Now, of course, you guys are probably thinking, well, no, no, Pete Hines said it's not happening. Obsidian people said it's not. Well, of course they're going to say it's not fucking happening. It's meant to be a top secret project, for God's sake. Who the fuck is going to say, um, 
like if the police come knocking at your door, um, excuse me, but I think you've been selling nukes to the Iraqi soldiers. You're not gonna be like, well, yeah, I have, nice digging around there. You're gonna be like, no, no, we fucking haven't, no. And then you're gonna be sending them pictures of eight balls saying no chance or whatever the fuck it was Obsidian people did. What I'm trying to say is, you know, nobody's going to confess to making the next big game in the franchise. No one's going to do that. So, as of now, we don't know. This is all just healthy, fun speculation, guys. But all of the evidence is right there. It does point to another game in this series. It really does. And I honestly think it is going to be a new game. And you know what, if it isn't called Fallout New Orleans, then so be it, you know? They have a tendency to changing the names around a little bit, like New Vegas. It wasn't Las Vegas, it was New Vegas, you know? So, it possibly won't be called New Orleans, it'll probably be called Old Orleans or some shit. But still guys, I want to know what you guys think. Personally, I am leaning to this is going to happen. Because I am a very positive person, and you know what, I don't want to d dwell in... Or de delve in? Delve in? I don't want to dive in too deep and be like over analyzing things like other people and then be in a little bit of a mood because people are happy and they're speculating. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to be happy. And you know what? If it doesn't happen, then well, that's it. You know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But for now, if you guys think there is a glimmer of hope that this game could happen, hold on to it, guys. Keep it happy, you know what I mean? You don't have to go over-analyzing everything. You don't have to go putting people in a, you know, a shitty mood just because you think it might not be here or anything like that. I don't know. Guys, what do you think about all of this information compiled into one place? I... I'm actually very grateful for the Reddit user, actually. I really want to say thank you to you. So, yet again, thank you very much, Feed Me Smegma. So, yeah, it's very nice that somebody else has actually compiled the information for a change. So, yeah. Um, but, anyhow, guys, thank you all for watching. Tell me what you think in the comment section. And, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome week. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya! Today, I'm going to be showing you where you can find all of the park medallions around Nuka World. Now, this is to complete the questline Precious Metals.